Oh, Gibson, Gibson, Gibson. Gibson is my favorite guitar brand. And I just got some news that... It's not new to you guys. Uh, I heard about it a couple days ago, but I've not checked out Gibson's website yet. But apparently, Gibson has raised their prices on their guitars. So I'm going to check what that's all about. And uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, hopefully it's not at all. But let's go check it out. Alrighty, well I have Gibson typed into the search bar. And here we go. Let's click on Les Paul just to start off with. Yep, and what do you know? The prices are increased from, at least for just these top three, uh, from 2500 bucks to 2700 bucks. Obviously, that boils down to simple math, and that means it's around a $200 increase. And honestly, that's, that's pretty frustrating, because to me, I feel like, for a Les Paul standard, $2,500 was the sweet spot. I feel like that was the perfect price. And now that they're raising it, like, I, I still feel like they're worth it, depending on, on what you need the guitar for, but it's still just, now it's just a little bit more like, uh, it's, it's still a little bit more of a, a chew out of your wallet. I think these Les Paul Specials and Juniors here, um, I'm pretty sure they've both been increased by 100 bucks each. Uh, I think this one was 1500 or sorry, uh, 1600 Yeah, and this one was 15 uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it does, don't quote me on that. But, so these guys have seen a, a price increase here. Moderns, those are also, I believe they were 26, 2700 bucks. Now they're 3000. The Les Paul Classic, I think that's a $300 increase. I'm pretty sure those guys were 2000. And I think the Classics were a great value. Personally, I don't really like Classics. But I feel like if you want, if your $2000 is your budget and you want something that does the Les Paul thing, I think a Les Paul Classic is probably one of the best options you can get in that price range. The Les Paul Studio, uh, I'm not sure how much to increase the price by, but personally, I wouldn't buy a new Les Paul Studio anyways. If you're going to get a studio, get one used. Uh, they're great value guitars used, but new, at least as of, uh, especially after the price increase, they're not too, uh, too great of a value in my opinion. For that much money, I'd rather just save up a little bit more and get uh, maybe one of these Specials or Juniors, which is just me. I know they're completely different guitars. These ones have P90s, these ones have Humbuckers, they're just very different guitars. Uh, but just getting a used studio, in my opinion, is, is much, much more worth it than a, a new studio. I don't know if the tributes... Uh, by the way, I haven't seen anyone else's videos on these, so I don't know how much each guitar has been increased in price. So I don't know exactly, or I can't really remember off the top of my head, how much each one cost before the price increase. Uh, I'm not sure if these guys got a price increase. I'm like 80% sure these guys were a thousand bucks a piece before, so... I think this is normal. I think these guys weren't increased in price. Uh, but I, I can't remember if the, the tributes were 1300 or not. And yeah, that pretty much just goes for like all of these Les Pauls. They all seem, even the custom shop stuff has gone up in price. Uh, they all seem to have a 10, 15% increase in price. So how does that make me feel? It, it's annoying, but everything, I've said it before on my channel in one of the Strings and Things episodes. Uh, Everything in this market, I'm not any kind of economic expert or anything like that. I'm not, not going to pretend to be. But everything right now is kind of in a bubble. Everything is very inflated. Um, and everything seems to be losing its value, meaning the price is going to go up. And I feel like that's it's happening with cars. It's happening with, especially with computer parts and stuff like that. And so it's not very surprising that it's going to happen guitars too. And I don't know exactly why they raise their prices, but I'm just going to assume that's why it is. Um, not many people want to work anymore due to COVID and other reasons like that. So they need to pay their workers to make sure they stay. And Also, I have, no, I have no idea if this has anything to do with the guitars, but lumber prices are through the roof. And I wouldn't really consider a guitar lumber. I'd say it's more of like a... To me, like lumber means like wood you'd use to build a house where it doesn't have to be like super high quality wood whereas guitars it has to be like super nice flame maple and mahogany and stuff like that um so maybe that has an effect i don't know i don't know if those are connected or correlated at all but that might have any something to do with the prices of all these guitars going up i'm gonna check out the sgs here the sg standard was fifteen hundred dollars i'm not i mean, not even looking at the screen yet uh the sg standard was fifteen hundred dollars before recording this that's how much i got mine for and looking over here, yep, I got a $200 increase. Oh, that's so sad. Because I, I feel like $1,500 is like the price for a Gibson SG. I feel like that's that's such a good value. So like this, 
you know, it's a little, like, for the quality, at least in my opinion, I love Gibson SGs, so I feel like for the quality you get, it's not too bad, but $1,500 before this price increase for uh, this middle SG standard, that was just such a good price, and uh, see the price go up, it's a little sad, but, I mean, it doesn't mean you can't get them, you just have to save up a little bit more, it's not really the end of the world. The SG Modern, I believe, got a little bit of a price increase, I love the SG Modern, I just think they look so cool, like, it is very modern. It's not very traditional. It's not like a normal SG, uh, which isn't which it isn't a normal SG. It's quite a bit different, but I don't know. They're very cool looking. As I love that blueberry burst. I think it looks really cool. But besides the point, price increase. Yeah, these I believe all of these have gone up in price. I don't. I I know nothing about the Gibson bases. I don't know. I wouldn't have a clue about how much they costed before this. So I don't know if the bases have gone up in price or not. But it looks like all of these have gotten a one to three hundred dollar increase. And holy crap, these guys were not this expensive. Um, yeah, that's very expensive. Uh, used market, I believe they go for like five thousand. I think that's just a guess. I, I'm pretty sure that's what they go for. So eight thousand dollars. That's just ridiculous. And now let's look at the three thirty fives and just other hollow bodies and semi hollow bodies. Um, yep, these guys have all, oh, $4,000. I was actually kind of looking at getting a, uh, a figure 335, just because if what I think of when I think of a 335 is cherry red and block inlays. It doesn't have to be figured, um, but they don't offer the non-figured version with the block inlays. But that's ridiculous. I think that's like a $300 increase. I think it was like 27 Now it's obviously 4000 as you can see here. That's too much. That's just ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, man, that sucks. Because, like, I was really... Like, I can't afford a guitar right now. I just bought my uh, 79 Les Paul. So, I can't afford a new guitar anytime soon. But this would this would have been the one that I would have gotten if I didn't get that. So, to see the price increase now, it's like... I don't... I guess I, don't, I definitely don't regret it. I, I love my new guitar. And I'm going to have a follow-up video... I've spent about, it's, it's approaching like a month that I've had this uh, this new guitar, and I'm going to make a follow-up video on like what I think about it, do I regret getting it, which I don't, uh, all about it, but this, man, I, again, I don't regret getting that one, but to see the price increase now, it's like, dang, I, I, I could have gotten it before the price got up, but, well, you live and you learn. I don't really know anything about the 339, so it looks, I'm pretty sure this is 2500 so again, that's another price increase there. Exclusives, same thing. Now the price increase, custom shop. Yeah. And all across the board, they're pretty much all more expensive. No, on to what Gibson calls their designer. So their, their Firebird, their V, their uh, Flying V. I already just said that, but <laughs> Explorer, stuff like that. I think that's the same price. I don't think that is... Maybe it's a $100 increase, but I, I'm pretty sure there are $2,000 before this. I think that might also be the same price. Not totally sure, but... See, it doesn't look like these guys were affected too much. I don't know why that is. Maybe the demand for these guitars is lower, which it probably is. The Les Paul and SGs are much more popular guitars. So maybe they're trying to get rid of their inventory on these guys. Again, not totally sure. Don't exactly know what's uh, what's going through Gibson's heads right now. But, yeah, these guys don't seem to be too much more expensive. Um, this has nothing to do with this video. But Gibson's, I've actually never looked at it in person. Um, where is it? Uh... There you go, the Gibson Mod Collection. I think, I'm, yeah, it's been sold. But they had a sparkle red Firebird that looks very similar to this blue one here, but obviously red. And oh my gosh, that thing was gorgeous. I loved that so much. So whoever bought that Firebird is a very, very lucky person. And I'm sure they have a fantastic guitar, because god damn, it's beautiful. And even this blue one here, I feel like Firebird Customs with like really cool finishes, I'm starting to fall in love with a little bit. Like, this is just gorgeous. Look at this thing. God damn. Anyways, that has, again, nothing to do with it. I'm going to check out Epiphone and see if their prices have increased. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't, but I'm just going to go ahead and check it out. I think this is the first time I've ever actually been on Epiphone's website. It's Yeah, it is. It's built, like, the exact same as Gibson's. Let's check out the Les Pauls. And I'm not an expert. I haven't really paid attention to Epiphone very much. Um, holy crap. It's like a thousand bucks for an Epiphone. Jesus. But I'm pretty sure these have gone up in price a little bit. God dang, these slashes are ridiculous. Dang, Epiphone's gotten expensive. But 
I think these guys have gone up in price. Hopefully not too much. But, ooh, that thing's cool. Sorry, now I'm just guitar shopping in my head. Um, but yes, uh, yeah, okay. I know the special was cheaper than this. I believe it was like $350. $400 maybe. But, so yeah, this guy has gone up in price. I love this special. I think it's really cool. Trogly made a great video on this uh, Epiphone Les Paul special in the TV yellow finish. So guys, check that out. That's a good video. Um, so yeah, this has gone up in price. I don't know anything else past here. I'm not an Epiphone expert, nor am I a Gibson expert, or an anything expert. So I don't know too much about this, but it looks like these guys have gone up in price as well. And just because I'm curious, I'm going to see and look at the uh, Epiphone Firebirds. See if I like them. It's just weird that they look small. It looks like a kid's guitar. Not in a bad way, it just looks smaller. It looks shorter. I mean, hey, 650 that's not too bad for Firebird. Um, I know it's just an Epiphone. It's made overseas. There's a lot of other cost-saving measures, but I like it. It's cool. But before this turns into a guitar shopping video, I think I'm going to call it here. Gibson, you raised your prices. I don't know exactly why, but I'd like to know. So I'm probably going to do some research off-screen and see why exactly that is. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. What's your opinion on Gibson's uh, price increase? Do you guys love it for some reason? Do you guys hate it? Leave your comments down below. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like. And if you loved it and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.